Look, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, a lot of people are trying to solve this gun problem at the branch we're at right now instead of the source. It's like, well, how do we fix this? You know, we can take away guns. We can restrict guns. We can arm staff a school so they can take out kids if they need to. I'm sure my alcoholic principle would have been a, a great idea uh, to put a, a gun in the hand of when we were growing up, you know. Um, it's just messed up. You know, we're, we're a messed up country. I mean, maybe you got to look at the source. And the source ain't so easy to fix. I mean, you could preach for or against capitalism all day. But what we got here in the States, we've, we've got problems. We've got, if you're not a millionaire, if you're not making a good amount of money, then you're stuck at the bottom. I mean, it's, it's tough to come up. And, and maybe, maybe kids in the ghetto don't have uh, that much of a fucking future because they're sitting here with parents who have less time to teach their kids, uh, you know, not whether it's wrong or right, but, you know, the value of human life because they're busy trying to escape from the shitty cards that they've been dealt and that they can't get out of. All the, all the debt that we have and, and shit, if, if you're well off en enough, you know, you go to college and then you're stuck in debt for years after that and you're lucky to get a job. And then if you have a job, you have no job security with all these uh, hire and fire states that can get rid of you for any reason and then end up hiring somebody underneath you for minimum wage. Uh, and that's happened twice to me, <laughs> you know. It's, it's taken 32 years to get where I'm at right now, which I'm happy as hell to be living the life I am right now and finally able to provide for my family. It took me 32 years to get here, though, with really hard work. And even at that, according to uh, averages, we're still in poverty by 30, I, I don't know, 20, $30,000 is considered the poverty line. Uh, from what I'm making right now for uh, a four-person a four-person household, it's just it's ridiculous. If you're not at the top, you're at the bottom. There's like no middle ground. Like middle class used to be in the middle. Now middle class is considered what was it like somewhere around 180, 250, 300 thousand dollars a year. I, I could only wish to make that much uh, with my current education level. You know my skill set. Uh, I'm thankful to work for a company that finally accepts people not based on a piece of paper education, but actually hires you for, for skill, for talent. Uh, there's not enough companies out there like that. I'm very lucky to be where I'm at because that doesn't exist everywhere. Uh, it's, it's pretty damn rare, actually. It's just, it's a stressful fucking country. Um, healthcare. I mean, people argue about healthcare all day. But the truth is, once again, if you don't have money, you're paying out the ass for your health insurance, if you can even afford that, going further in debt, uh, when the, you know, you go to the hospital and you're screwed anyway because the shit's too expensive even if you got insurance. Uh, when we had our first kid, uh, I believe after insurance, they still wanted nine grand uh, because uh, we had a baby. Nine grand after insurance to have a child in this country. It, it doesn't add up. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, if, if we had a better health care system, uh, you know, or a free one, like you'd see uh, in the UK, Canada, whatever. Like I said, people argue about it all the time. They got to push numbers around. But what the source of this is, is the stress that this country puts us in. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna look at stats. I'm not gonna debate science. It it just seems like common sense to me that this entire country is just fucking crushing itself, squeezing your head with all this stress because we live in a constant state of debt. Uh, we're afraid to get sick because we can't afford to fix ourselves, and if we don't show up to work, we can just get fired. Um, and unemployment ain't gonna pay as much bills as you had before you hit unemployment. Uh, finding jobs is difficult. It's, it's rough. And then you can debate religion all day. I mean, of course, there's so many sides to this thing. 
But if you're on one hand, you know, whatever you believe in, if you think we're all going to hell anyway, then there ain't much, there ain't much room for improvement. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, uh, if you think America's going to hell and that's, that's, that's what you're telling everybody, then, you know, what do you care if it does? Um, I mean, we don't, we don't need the stress from that. We don't uh, need to be told that we're going to die in a million repetitions of fiery death. Uh, on top of all the stress we already deal with in physical form from all these pieces of paper in our mailbox. You know what I'm saying? Like, God, and then, and then depending on what you believe in, the stress is added to you that if you do this or that, depending on who wrote your version of the Bible, um, then you're stressed out from that too. And how many people do we see uh, prominence in the church that end up doing really fucked up things to our society, to our children, uh, to the money that you give them? It's just too much stress, man. America is, is too stressed out. And physically speaking, a lot of people uh, that work with getting people to be well, they'll tell you that a majority of your physical problems aren't because you've got diseases or you're doomed to, to repeat these uh, problems that your family has had. It's because of stress. Stress tenses you out. It messes up your muscles, messes up your brain. Um, you know, it, it leads to you having syndromes and, and other wonderful titles a doctor will prescribe to you so that you'll buy medicine so they can get a bonus. You know, it's, we just, we got to start at the base. You can't solve gun violence by, by taking it at the end result and trying to fix it up from there. You got to go back to the source. And aside from gun violence, we got, we got too many other things that we need to fix. I mean, we can't even fix these base problems and get people better lives and get people better education. Uh, for less or free or health for less or free uh, to make societies better to make our communities stronger and to get us to value our own life you can't you can't do that at the end you got to do it at the base and you can debate about war all you want but if we're spending millions billions of dollars trillions of dollars on war how the fuck are we going to fix what's happening back with us You'll hear people say that, you know, oh, we're spending all this money, uh, you know, previously in Iraq, you know, oh, we spent all this money here when we could have been helping the homeless problem. Well, yeah, of course. And, and you know, Democrats, they'll say that. And Republicans, they don't want to say that because Republicans love money uh, as, long, as long as they're getting it. Um, but, you know, the truth of the matter is, yes, we're spending all this money to fuck with people that wouldn't hate us to begin with if we didn't fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're, sitting, we're sitting here with our drone program taking out innocent people almost every fucking day across our seas. You know, we got drone operators. They'll never see the light of day of these people's lives. They don't care. We got men, women, and children. We got innocent and uninnocent people due to terrorism, whatever your definition is. We're spending all this money, and hell yeah, it could be used to a better reason. I mean, I don't give a damn about your politics. That money could be used to better the fucking country. So we can get less stress in people's lives. So we can begin to put that value behind a human life again. If, if we continue on this version of capitalism that we've perverted, then it's just going to get worse. Like, what can you expect? The rich get richer. The poor get thrown in the gutter. We don't spend money on improving the community. Instead, we try to improve our ability to control the globe. Shit ain't going to get fixed. So rather than talking about gun legislation and trying to fix it at the end, I mean, what we really need to do is fix this fucking country first. You know? Fix it at the source. Get people to be happy again. Get people not to have to fear dying every day because they can't afford the debt 
that they owe, that they can't provide for their family. Just need to remove the stress, man. I just, I just had to make this video because there's so much politics going on, and it ain't about politics. It's it's about being fucking human, and America needs to realize that. I mean, there's there's worse countries out there that's worse off than us. Warmongering and horrible human rights violations, but. To those of you who think that we're above that and that we're the greatest country in the world, I mean, you need to help prove that. If that's the case, then why aren't we doing better for ourselves? If we can't, if we can't rightfully compare ourselves, say, to like the United Kingdom, and you know, you can look up the stats for this, the gun control thing and stuff like that, but you know, they've got the healthcare, things like, it's easy to talk about them. Uh, you know, because I've got some friends over there, and I've looked into it a lot, and I've been there, and I can see, I can see the effect on the people. They have a little bit less stress in their lives because of simple things like being able to have health, uh, help on education. I mean, they complain about education over there too because they're raising prices, but their prices ain't nothing compared to what we're putting kids through in our country. We just, we need to look at these examples of these people, why they're happy, why they have less violence. And we need to fix our shit. So I just, I just wanted to make a video because all of that obviously wouldn't have fit on Facebook. And due to Facebook's capitalistic ass, who knows if this video would have actually gotten to you anyway in your feed. So <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to share my thoughts on all that. These problems ain't on the base. You got to dig deeper. We got to remove stress from this country. We got to give people better treatment from the ground up. So, anyway, I love y'all.